Hey, I'm Eric Hadia. We're here, it's middle, end of September with my buddy Kurt. We are catching salmon on the spinning tackle. Oh yeah, there he goes, brother. Oh, yeah. Kurt's trying to slow him down. Talk to me, team leader. What do we got oh, going on nice here? Nice fish, Sean. Nice fish. Trying to slow him down. Way out there. Oh yeah. Way out there. Kurt's got him way out there. Not a bad kid. Isn't it? Nice fish. Want me to grab the net? Okay, I can get it. Good job, dude. There we go. Kurt's king. Nice job, dude. Thanks, nice work. Man. What do we got going on, Curtis? Hooked up again, buddy. Right. Went back to the skein, hooked up right away. Bobber went down and missed it. He dropped my other rod with the slash paint, came back. Let him take it. There he is. There he is. And there he goes. <laughs> nice work. Well, it wasn't, they didn't come easy today, though, did they? They did. We had to move around a lot to find them. In this last spot that you put us on, it seems like there's a lot of fish in there. Got the net. Yup. Alright. Nice job, Kurt. Beautiful Big fish. King salmon. Nice job, man. Alright, so here's the thing. You, you here's what we're using today. This is called skein, right? And it looks pretty disgusting. Um, these are the salmon eggs that we've taken out of the fish and we've cured them up. Then you take a scissors and you cut off a little chunk and basically uh, what I'm fishing with is I've got a 10 foot 6 St. Croix uh, medium power wild river rod and I'm fishing a float here. I'm fishing braid, I'm uh, stealth braid here, 15 pound braid and then I've got a Stren 12 pound test fluorocarbon leader and a number four, number six, Gamugatsu octopus hook. We're fishing probably at about 14 feet of water and we're fishing about 10 feet down. You cut off a little chunk of this skein and it's, uh, you know, you put it right on your hook. You kind of thread it on a little chunk. You cast it out. You can use a bigger chunk than that too. The bobber goes down. There's two ways. You can set the hook right away. Or a lot of times, if you're missing them, let the fish eat it. Let the bobber stay down for five seconds, reel up real fast, and then hook them up. So it's a fun way to catch big salmon in the fall. Hey, we gotta go chase this one down. We hooked him up back over here. He's got us going through all these. We got a big salmon on his. We gotta chase him right down through all these buoys and sailboats. Nice job, Curdy. Yeah! Big King, Big King! Yeah, buddy! Those are gonna give up. Yeah. Gotta name this fish T-Rex or something. Does not want to give up. Big one. Yeah, we got him, Kurt. We got him. That's a giant. <laughs> nice work, man. Thanks, man. Here he is. <laughs> yeah, there's the beast. What a big salmon in the Milwaukee Harbor. 
Nice job. Thanks, bro. 30 mile an hour wind, and we're hooking up on salmon. We're fishing in the Milwaukee Harbor. It's late September right now. Lots of fun catching big fish, fishing skein and bobbers. Here he comes. Uh-oh. I don't have my frame all <laughs> down over there. I'm going to have to grab it. I'll have to hand grab this one. Which is good because I'll show you a little trick. My frame is down around the corner right now. If you don't have a net, these salmon aren't that hard to grab. You want to grab them by a tail. All right, here he comes. I'm going to grab him. All right. Grab the line right here, and I want to grab the tail. Real tight. Pick him up. There you go. Nice King salmon, job. Milwaukee Harbor. Look at those teeth on that bad boy right there. Lots of fun on spinning tackle. Hey, for more fishing reports, you can go to our website, and that's Big Fish. 365.com where every week we're showing you the biggest fish biting in the Midwest. Thanks for watching this week's video.